Greetings, this is J. Peter Brzezzi. In this lesson, we're going to discuss backing up Loadmaster SSL certificates and system configuration. Okay, so let's get started. To start with, let's just view a couple of the settings that we have for this Loadmaster so that you can see that we have something to actually back up and restore. So for starters, let's take a look at some of our virtual services. As you can see, this server has a couple of virtual services that are configured. In addition, we have a certificate set up for the server. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so we can see that the server has some basic configuration. There's something to literally back up and restore. Now, while we're already here in certificates, this is the first part we can look at for backup and restoration. You can see under the certificates heading on the left that there's an option, Backup and Restore Certs. Let's select that in order to see the settings. And as you can see on the right hand side we have the option to do a certificate backup. Notice it says backup all VIP and intermediate certificates. You have to provide a passphrase and then retype that passphrase before selecting the create backup file. Okay so let's do that. And from here we create the backup file. Now one thing to note is that the passphrase has to have a minimum of six characters. We click create backup file. We save it. So you can see here the name that's been given to the certificate backup and the default location for Internet Explorer is for that to go in our downloads folder. At this point, let's jump over and do a backup of the system itself. Let's select System Configuration. And then we can look down at the bottom under System Administration, there's the option Backup Restore. Let's select that. Okay, so you can see right up at the top, Create a Backup, and there's a single button, Create Backup File. Let's click that button. Here you can see it gives us a different type of naming structure for the backup of the Loadmaster itself as opposed to the certificate. If we click Save, just like our certificate backup, this file will also be found in the Downloads folder. So at this point we've backed up the Loadmaster as well as the certificates. So we hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.